Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to apologize for the three-week absence. I was just taking a little break. The SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP-4419. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures Due to the expansive range of circumstances in which SCP-4419 manifestations occur, containment efforts are to focus on information control and post-manifestation cleanup rather than physical imprisonment. Any witnesses to an SCP-4419 manifestation are to be dosed with a Class B or Class A amnestic as appropriate for their level of exposure. In cases where it is possible to restore the bodies of SCP-4419 victims to roughly standard human configurations, a cover story is to be established to explain any remaining damage as a result of their original injuries. In cases where this is not feasible, victims of SCP-4419 are to be brought into custody and, if possible, euthanized. A cover story is then to be established regarding the death of the victim due to their original injuries or conditions. Description SCP-4419 is a vehicle resembling an ambulance of a varying make and model, which spontaneously appear in an area shortly before a medical emergency arises. The means by which SCP-4419 predicts these situations is currently unknown. Although the appearance of SCP-4419 differs from manifestation to manifestation, it will always resemble an ambulance appropriate for the local culture. Upon the occurrence of the medical emergency, SCP-4419 will proceed directly to the injured individual, hereafter referred to as the victim, to individuals of varying physical appearances in paramedic uniforms will then exit from the back of SCP-4419, secure the victim, and bring them back with them into SCP-4419. The individuals that emerge from SCP-4419 will behave as expected for a medical professional in this situation, but will repel any attempt by others to prevent them securing the victim by extreme physical force. Once the victim has been secured within SCP-4419, it will leave the area at extreme speeds, disappearing the moment it is outside of observation. Two to seven days later, the victim will be returned outside a local area, suffering from extreme and invasive bodily modifications. Although the majority of these alterations would logically result in the death of the victim, death will not occur in these cases unless the modifications are tampered with or otherwise undone. The specific nature of these modifications differs from case to case, although there does appear to be a level of correlation with the original medical emergency. See Encounter Log 4419-1. Encounter Log 4419-1. The following is a log of encounters with SCP-4419, the original medical emergencies in each case, and the bodily modifications applied to the victim. Note that this log does not encapsulate all known SCP-4419 victims, and a full record is available upon request from the Data Archive at Site-31. Date 0702-1983 Medical Emergency A breaking car hits a pedestrian crossing the street, resulting in a broken leg. Bodily Modification Victim returned with all limbs amputated and relocated to protrude directly from his torso. Limbs were re-amputated and a cover story was established to explain the loss of limbs as the result of a much more severe car accident. Date 2311-1994 Medical Emergency A man suffers from a broken jaw following a fight outside a bar. Bodily Modification Victim returned with his jaw forced permanently open. In addition, a glass window was installed in the mouth to permit viewing of the heart, which had been relocated to the back of their throat. Due to the relocation of the heart, reversion of the body modifications was not possible and the victim was euthanized. Date 1906-1999 Medical Emergency A homeless man suffers from a drug overdose bodily modification. Victim returned to the same place he was originally taken from. The top of the victim's skull had been removed and the brain crudely scooped out and placed into the victim's hands, which had been fused together in front of him. 
While being brought into custody, the victim's brain fell out of his hands and he instantly expired. Note that at no point was the victim's brain actually connected to his nervous system. Date, 2901-2003. Medical emergency. A wife and husband involved in a car crash suffer numerous broken bones and severe bleeding. Bodily modification. Victims returned fused together by their backs. All bones that had been broken in the original accident were meticulously removed, resulting in the loss of use of some limbs. The victims were successfully separated, administered amnestics as appropriate, and their modified limbs were amputated. Date, 1502-2006. Medical emergency. An elderly man suffers from a heart attack. Bodily modification. Victim was returned with 11 additional non-functional hearts within his body, stuffed between his existing organs. Expiration occurred when surgeons attempted to remove these additional hearts before agents could arrive on the scene. Surgeons and medical staff who had treated the victim were administered amnestics and the body confiscated. Date, 1909-2008. Medical emergency. A fire at a bar results in 19 people suffering from severe burns. An additional seven people suffer from skull fractures and broken bones when they attempt to confront the individuals who emerge from SCP-4419 and are also taken as victims. It is believed existing injuries were exacerbated and new injuries caused by attempting to force 26 people into the limited space within SCP-4419. Bodily Modification Victims returned to the local community center as a single watery mass which twitches and shivers when physical contact is applied. As no method of euthanizing the victims could be found, they are currently stored in a liquid tank at Site-31. Date, 2411-2014 Medical Emergency A U.S. military private is shot while on patrol in Afghanistan. Bodily Modification Due to the suspicious nature of SCP-4419's arrival and the forceful securing of the private, other soldiers on the patrol fire upon SCP-4419 as it leaves. Witnesses report seeing a viscous black fluid leaking from the resultant bullet holes in SCP-4419's surface. The victim is found broken down into a thin paste and spread over the walls of their barracks the next day. The agents who initially secured the remains reported seeing a mostly intact eyeball dilate when they approached. What has been brought into storage is referred to for convenience sake as remains. It is currently not known whether or not the victim has expired. Again, I apologize for the quality of my voice today. It's uh, very strained as the last section of my hiatus. I got a cold. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I think that about does it for today. Thank you for listening, if indeed you still are, and you are all dismissed. Goodbye. I would like to give a special thank you to Tomothy, Anvil, Zargaron, Professor Puffer, Spencer J. Tilp, Will Rimmer, Vainu, Givios the Hollow, Zazapan, Lamke, Dr. Briggs, Tailored Printers, Signar, Alatreon, Your Local Foundation Agent, Derivative, Lost Boy, A Real American Hebrew, the Morrigan, James Saba, and NJ Vojak. If you would like a special thank you at the end of each of my videos and some other cool stuff as well, visit patreon.com forward slash the Vulgan. Thank you.